everyone, it's John, your Gen X Grandpa, and today I'm going to be reviewing the card game from Light Raiders Academy, First Watch. Now, before we get started, I just want to say that I'm not going to be reviewing the gameplay. Uh, I'm very terrible at card games. I'm terrible at reading the rules, and I have yet to find a playthrough demonstration online yet for this card game. So I haven't played it yet. I learn better by watching people play a card game and not being able to watch anyone uh, play this has kind of led me to really not play it <laughs> at all. So I want to talk a little bit about the card game, the different modes of gameplay that are available to it, the quality of the cards, and how I think it fits into the whole Dragon Raid mythos, if you will. I also own Dragon Raid as well, the the box set, and so I'm pretty familiar with the mythos. So I want to talk a little bit about how those two things tied together and really what the primary purpose of this is. For those of you who don't know, this uh, was developed through a Kickstarter, and so right now I don't believe it's available for purchase online anywhere. If you didn't get it through the Kickstarter, you were unable to get it. You're unable to get it right now. If uh, if that's wrong, then I'll put a note somewhere down here. But I believe right now, not available right now unless you got it through the Kickstarter. So let's talk initially about this game. So it did come with a set of seven D10 dice, which they call Star Lots. Incidentally, they've got another Kickstarter that they ran with a game associated with these uh, Star Lots called Star Lots. So I'm looking forward to when that comes out as well. The game comes in uh, a box like this, very nice looking box, and it comes with 85 total cards, I believe. I think that's right. Uh, mine had a little signature on it. Look at that, got a little autograph. And it comes divided into two separate types of cards. Uh, you have the larger Light Raider deck, which is a lighter color here. And you have your battle deck, which is this darker color. I really like the design of these cards. They look really nice. And I think that they they fit the theme of a discipleship slash scripture memory game very well. So that's the primary thing you need to understand about this. This is not intended to be like a deck battle game or anything like that or a trading card game. It really is a scripture memorization game. There are two modes that you can play, which is kind of like the memorization version of the game as well as the battle version of the game. Both of these types of play involve having to uh, really know and have memorized particular scripture verses. Now, of course, all of the, these are all picked by the creators of the game. So in essence, what you could do is actually create your own cards for this with your own memory verses. They are suited by the Fruits of the Spirit. And so that is kind of a neat little twist on it as well. And each of the cards has different uh, values on them for different properties in the battle portion of the game, but not necessarily the memorization portion of the game. It's designed for two to seven players. Part of the thing is, especially if you're playing with, with uh, two players, it would take you a long time to get to a win mode if you don't have a lot of scripture memorized. And so that I, to me, that's kind of off-putting. So if I were playing with a group that maybe doesn't really have a lot of memorization in mind, I would kind of fudge and let people, if they kind of get the general uh, idea of the of the verse, then I might let them win the card. Again, like I said, I haven't seen any playthroughs of this game yet. I, I would like to have seen that on the Light Raiders website, but it's just not available. Now, this is also intended to work with the Dragon Raid 
box set game, which is kind of a discipleship slash scripture memorization game as well, with role playing wrapped around that. Okay, so it's not memory, it's it's not uh scripture memorization wrapped around a role playing game. It's a role playing game wrapped around a discipleship and memorization system. And so this fits in quite well with the mythos. You know, the game copy and things like that fit in well with the Dragon Raid mythos. And so I think anyone who is into Dragon Raid enjoys the mythos and enjoys finding creative ways to memorize scripture. Uh, I think this would be great for a youth group game night or something along those lines or a youth camp uh, game night or something like that. Again, the quality of the cards, really top-notch. The box is high quality, really glossy. The the dice or star lots are very nice as well. And so I'm I'm pretty pleased with the product as it's presented, right? Could there be improvements to it as far as gameplay are concerned, as far as game mechanics are concerned? I think so, but as as it fits into the Dragon Raid family of games and as it fits into the Dragon Raid mythos, I think it's a perfect fit. Until next time, my name is John, your Gen X grandpa. Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.